So after being a little underwhelmed by Skullcandy's Hedge 3 headset, I decided to give them another chance. So I started shopping around and came across the Grind Wireless series collection, which were rated very well. So well, in fact, it even says it on the box for whatever that's worth. Another thing that was important is they were actually cheaper. These retail for 90, where the Hesh 3s retail for 130. So there's nothing wrong with saving a little money, right? Out of the box, I was definitely struck by the design. There's something about it that just fit my personality. And they were a little bit smaller and lighter as well. Now the biggest compromise with that would be these are rated for 12 hours, where the Hesh 3s were rated for 22. But I've got no problem with plugging my headset up after I'm done with it. One of the biggest complaints I had about it, however, though, was comfort. How comfortable are these over an extended period of time? And some people did comment that you do get used to that discomfort after about a week or so. I was not aware of that and I appreciate the tip. So I did keep that in mind when I bought this new headset. However, when I immediately put these on, I could tell these were gonna be something I'd probably keep as long as the audio quality was good because they just have a little bit more flex to them and didn't feel like they were pushing my head in, if that makes sense. And this cushion here was a little bit different from the others. Now you will retain a little bit of heat, but you're gonna have that no matter what headset over a period of time. It's not the actual headset, far as I'm aware, it's just the actual heat being trapped in the headphones themselves. Quality-wise though, they seem pretty good. Um, yes, the other set may be a little better, but like I said, I do like the way these look, and this, the buttons are decent. It may feel a little cheap, but I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm just gonna note it. Uh, got your auxiliary port, which is nice, and your micro USB, which is fairly standard. Hopefully we'll get that C one day, but today is not that day. So you're probably wondering now at this point if they're comfortable, if the battery life is good but not the best, how's the audio quality? Was that a compromise versus the Hesh 3s? Well, the Hesh 3s weren't very loud and they didn't really have a whole lot of bass. That's different with these. There's definitely mids, there are lows, and they're louder overall. You may lose very slight clarity in comparison, but the audio out of these is much better in my opinion. So if somebody were to ask me, are you keeping these? Would you recommend these? Yes, I would. Later.